Thank you for joining us for our virtual learning series, Pandemic Playbook, Marketing Preparedness Through COVID and Beyond. Our goal is to help you, our valued clients, navigate your marketing plans following this pandemic. Each week we offer guidance from our team of experts and this week's topic is social media advertising. Businesses can digitally engage with customers now more than ever because people are in their homes and looking at their screens. This is the perfect time to target various social media platforms to expand your brand awareness and drive customers to your website. With me here today is Ginger Gatewood, Social Product Manager for Cox Media Group Digital. Hey Ginger, when we talk about social media advertising, we are actually talking about much more than just Facebook. That's correct, Christina. Thanks for having me today. CMG Social offers social media advertising solutions across a variety of platforms. It does include Facebook and Instagram, but also LinkedIn and Pinterest. While a lot of people and advertisers automatically think Facebook is the only social media platform, there are others with a ton of users that we can't forget about. For instance, while Facebook obviously has a huge monthly number of North American users to the tune of about 228 million people, we can't forget that LinkedIn is not too far behind with 184 million and Pinterest with 88 million. And of course, nobody knows your business better than you, so strong organic posts are important, but a paid strategy is also essential. That's right, it's true. There's two sides of social media, organic and paid, and they actually go hand in hand, which I don't think a lot of people realize. The reason that organic is no longer a standalone lifeline in Facebook is due to a massive Facebook algorithm change back in 2018. That algorithm change put a much higher emphasis in newsfeed on family and friends content ahead of marketing content and consuming media. So to that end, Facebook has essentially stopped tracking organic reach once it reached less than 1%. This doesn't mean we should forget about organic though. Um, in fact, it's still very important. So we recommend sort of a hybrid approach to social strategy. Users still check out a brand by going to their Facebook page, then then researching the posts and photos and videos. Brands can't just raise brand awareness though. They also need to educate people and motivate them and showcase their brand identity. Organic allows the brand to engage with consumers too and manage interactivity with those consumers. It's important not to push products and promos too much organically. Again, uh, with reach less than 1%, a lot of people won't see them. So instead, the Facebook page should be used as a place to teach people. The CMG Social's focus is paid social. We most definitely think brands need to own and use their organic space, but again, our focus is paid social. So what would you say to a business owner who is currently managing their own social media advertising? Why work with the team at CMG? It's a good question. So why CMG? There's a multitude of reasons, so I'll just hit on a couple. Our team of operations analysts are all Facebook Blueprint certified, and this is actually a requirement of the position. Trust me when I tell you that the exams for these certifications are very, very tough. I have the uh, certifications myself. Um, we're also full of media veterans. We've been doing this a long time and really take ownership of our social campaigns as full on project managers from fulfillment to uh, performance analysis and to optimization efforts. We have worked very hard to establish and maintain relationships with our dedicated partner reps from each of our platforms. This is in addition to our Facebook marketing partnership. Uh, these partnerships allow us various levels of service and information. A few examples of the benefits would be we're notified of algorithm changes and updates before they happen, which allows us to let the clients know that we have to make some necessary updates to their campaigns. We can avoid pitfalls of changing targeting requirements within Facebook. For example, back in 2019, there's a whole lot of targeting changes that came to the categories of housing, employment, and in credit. We knew ahead of time, so we were able to adjust accordingly. Political ad certification. You know, there was a big deal back in 2016 during the last presidential election about political ads on Facebook. So they sort of adjusted and decided to put all of us through a grueling process of identity uh, confirmation so that we can run political ads. But I'm happy to say that we are certified to do so. Also, we can pick up the phone and call our partner reps at any of our platforms whenever we need support. We also meet with them regularly to review our portfolio of business and ensure that we're recommending to our clients the right strategies and we're in line with what Facebook best practices are. Beyond our partnerships, we do have technical efforts as well uh, that we implement, such as ABC testing. And what ABC testing means for us is that we first do some ABC testing with audiences. Once we choose and figure out the right audience, we'll adjust um, imagery. 
once we pick, pick out the right imagery, then we'll move on to copy. And last, but most definitely not least, you guys specifically in Orlando are very blessed to have our best in class social operations analyst, Elisa Crooks. She's located right there in Orlando and I've known her for about 10 years. You guys are in great hands as she truly owns her campaigns and knows just when to optimize and shift strategies when necessary. So it sounds like there is a lot to think about when planning your social media strategy. If I'm a business owner, what should be my objectives when running a paid social media strategy with CMG? Sure, there's tons of different objectives and strategies within each of the platforms. So what we do is we vet out every social media platform as well as every objective and tactic that they offer. We skillfully put each of them through the product lifecycle. This allows us to learn and understand if they make sense for our SMB clients. And on that note, here's what we offer in terms of objectives per platform. On Facebook, we offer traffic, reach, lead gen, dynamic, and conversions. On LinkedIn, we offer traffic and lead gen. On Pinterest, we offer traffic and brand awareness. Now, we also advise the client getting into the nitty gritty with us and helping us understand and figure out exactly what their business goals are and we can plan accordingly. We can cultivate a strategy specific to your needs and drive positive ROI for the business. In addition, it's important to note what happens when you pair paid social uh, campaigns with other CMG advertising solutions. For example, our CMG data suggests that home services clients are about three times more likely to act when exposed to CMG search ads as well as CMG social ads. And then, if you take it a step further and you decide to incorporate all four of our branded solutions, which includes CMG Social, CMG Search, Display, and Video, we're driving even higher campaign performance. And a good example of that would be for healthcare. Potential patients are about 31% more likely to click on ads when exposed to all four of our solutions. And I think it's also important to talk about best practices with creative during this time. What are some strategies and examples of good creative messaging as Central Florida businesses finally start to reopen? Sure. In preparation of reopening, our advice would be to keep their consumers super informed of how things may have changed and how they'll continue to be a bit different in the future. So it's top of mind for nearly everyone how businesses intend to keep them safe as they decide to partake in specific products and services. For instance, I think it's important to touch on appointment protocol. Do people need to wait in their car? Do people need to call ahead when they've arrived? PPE use, is the business requiring mask or gloves or both? Disinfectant use, how is the business using disinfectant as a part of their daily routines? Hours of operation too, are the hours staying adjusted? Will there be new hours? Um, also, specials to get more people in. Um, in an effort to drive more business, it's not a bad idea to have specials and promos for people as they begin to re-enter society in general. And last but not least, if the company has shifted to more online business rather than in-store business, be sure to keep your customers informed of that as well. If they don't have to come in anymore, they should definitely know that. Ginger, thank you so much for all of this great information. The team here at CMG will continue to bring you advice and tips and guidance as we navigate through this together. Thank you for watching Pandemic Playbook, Marketing Preparedness Through COVID and Beyond. Stay safe.